Okay, so I want to show you how to access some of the tags you can get from Mixamo. So maybe you don't know they're there, and there's quite a bit in there. So as I showed you in the last tutorial, so I, you can look through these by clicking and seeing if any of this could be used for your virtual production. And uh, let's just pick, uh, I don't know, farming pack. There you go, just click on this. So one recommendation I can do so you can find all the packs is just type pack. And you'll see, I actually use this uh, adventure, action adventure pack. So what you can do is you can see all the animations one after another. And, you know, uh, by the way, if you do use running, you need to download the running and uh, save it in place because it won't work uh, very well. In, in uh, I see a lot of these is like really cool. So what I'm going to do is download these and just leave all these settings the way they are. It's going to download a zip file. And what you want to do is unzip them to bring them in. I'll show you that in a sec. Here's the, file, the folder unzipped and here's all the animations. I'll show you a little workflow that saves you a little bit of time. So I already have a bunch of animations. Maybe I want to create a new folder and call them uh, Action Adventure. Just so I don't, because I'll have too many animations. Using, and I'll make sure to put a color so I know this is something I brought in. And then I'm going to import. Well, that's the actually that's the longer way. What I prefer doing is just clicking, going where the animations are. And actually, that's the it's this one that I want. So all my action adventure packs. I click the first one, click the shift key, and I'm just going to drag them in. Now, what's really important to do here is make sure you select the same skeleton. So uh, mine's called Dubo the Suit, whatever you named it in Ready Player Me. Import all. And there's going to be quite a few of these. I think there's 22, so it might take a minute. Okay, so finally, they all came in. And I'll just show you a little tip. So maybe what you want to do is drag one in and press Alt-S just to test it. Oops, let me hit the button. So for simulate. And that one doesn't seem to be moving. Let me just click here and make sure. Stop. Uh, and let's just drag another one in. Let's do that again. I'll do S. And yeah, you see the character is moving. So I'm going to create another video where I string the animations together, but that uh, might be a little while for you. Thank you.